Nicole Richie threw an extravagant birthday bash with a star-studded guest list, and her closest friend, Kia Wade, shared the spotlight with her. To kick off her 42nd birthday celebrations, Nicole Richie hosted a Virgo-themed party on September 21, surrounded by a constellation of famous Virgo personalities. Among the notable attendees were Rachel Zoe, Cameron Diaz, Sophia Richie, and Arthur Keo Wade. These festivities were documented by Zoe on her Instagram story, underlining the reality of the Virgo Fest. Zoe affectionately wrote, Virgo Fest was real, and I love you, Nicole Richie and Keo Wade, as she posted a picture of herself, Diaz, Wade, Sophia, and Nicole, all gathered around a Virgo-themed birthday cake, ready to blow out the candles. Adding to the joyous occasion, Nicole's friends, Kelly Sawyer and stylist Barrett, joined in the celebration. The group of women sported matching headbands that proudly proclaimed Virgo Queen in honor of their shared star sign. Pia Wade, a close friend of Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, who had recently celebrated her 46th birthday in California with Meghan, also had a joint star-studded birthday party alongside Nicole Ritchie. Although Meghan's invitation appeared to have gone astray, Prince Harry made a surprise appearance on Nicole's birthday cake. From the photos emerging from the event, it's evident that Nicole Ritchie and Keo Wade had an absolutely fantastic time, even taking to the dance floor together at their joint birthday party. Megan found herself conspicuously left out of the celebration, and Nicole, who happens to be singer Lionel Richie's daughter and was previously known as Paris Hilton's closest friend, took center stage. Nicole Richie, who had made her debut on an early reality show alongside Megan, had her father, music legend Lionel Richie, post a heartfelt message on Instagram. He shared a series of nostalgic photos of his youngest daughter, Sophia. It's worth noting that Nicole is also the sister-in-law of Cameron Diaz. Some time ago, Megan had published an article claiming that she was meeting Cameron and another person at a sushi restaurant. However, Cameron's public relations team promptly refuted the claim, stating that Cameron had no intention of meeting the gruesome Tosum. This has led to speculation that Megan might not have been invited due to her alleged attempt to leverage Cameron's name for attention. Rumors circulated that Megan was struggling to secure offers in Hollywood, which might explain her sudden appearance in Germany, even though she had no clear role or purpose there. In Germany, Harry reluctantly allowed her to become involved in his organization. Sophia recently celebrated her birthday, with Nicole and several other well-known figures in attendance. However, Megan was noticeably absent from the guest list. Sophia shared a delightful TikTok video of herself and her friend, TikTok star Jake Shane, dancing to Prada's Castle Ray and D-Block Europe's tunes while raising their glasses in celebration. In the video, Nicole made a playful cameo, dancing in front of Sophia and Shane as she passed by. Sophia captioned the post with her age, 25, indicating her joy on the occasion. Nicole also took to Instagram to mark her sister's birthday. She shared a light-hearted video on her story, playfully hitting Sophia on the head with a balloon. In another charming throwback photo, Nicole carried her younger sister on her back and accompanied it with a heartfelt message declaring her love. The Princess of Wales exuded charm as she donned a camel-toned ensemble for a significant engagement in East London on Tuesday. This appearance came shortly after she had showcased her expertise in fashion sporting the pro-Arsenal Holland Cooper double-breasted jacket during an event in Yuval earlier in the week. Princess Kate radiated elegance and professionalism once again, opting for another power suit as she met with the team from Streets of Growth, a not-for-profit youth intervention charity dedicated to transforming the lives of young individuals at risk of falling into a cycle of social problems. Her outfit featured a Roland Murray jacket with an angular fitted blazer and flared trousers. She complemented this look with her thick brunette locks styled in bouncy, blow-dried curls. Completing the ensemble were camel-pointed toe heels that added a touch of sophistication to her chick business aesthetic. The royal also applied dark mascara and smoky eyeliner to accentuate her enchanting green eyes. This marked the sixth consecutive public engagement where the future queen chose to wear a suit, perhaps signaling a shift toward a more executive style 
as she takes on increasingly prominent roles. Princess Catherine's appearance garnered praise from numerous royal fans who found her elegance reminiscent of Princess Diana. Roland Murray, CEO of the charity she visited, took to social media to commend her as the ideal model for office attire, noting her consistent appropriateness for the events she attends. In contrast, her sister-in-law, Meghan Markle, faced criticism for her perceived inappropriate dressing choices, even when she deliberately selected similar camel and beige colors, such as at the Invictus Games event. Meghan's fashion choices lost favor when she opted for skimpy shorts while marching alongside veterans. Melissa Lund, a personal stylist, personal shopper, and image coach, shared her insights exclusively with Express.co.doc, addressing the Duchess's fashion choices. The pursuit of fashionable attire was evident during the recent events, but the actual implementation fell short of expectations. The oversized garments chosen for Megan didn't complement her frame. In fact, they tended to engulf her, while one outfit, consisting of black jeans and trainers, was deemed acceptable. The others raised questions. It's important to note that Megan was not a mere spectator. She was attending in her capacity as the wife of the patron, who was representing the Invictus Games Foundation. Typically, one would anticipate the wife of a patron to dress in Invictus Games attire or opt for smart casual attire when interacting with competitors and presenting medals. Some critics perceived the event as more of a fashion show, though most of the outfits didn't align with contemporary fashion trends. Additionally, the clothing choices seemed to lack proper care and ironing. In essence, it appeared as if this week served as an opportunity for free photo shoots, aimed at promoting various merchandise designers and brands, in hopes of enticing them to pay for Megan's endorsement. One commentator even referred to Megan's attire as Megan merch in clothing, comparing it unfavorably to the wardrobe of a streetwalker from the 90s, seemingly intended to lure potential clients, rather than representing the Invictus Games Foundation in a dignified manner. The Dusseldorf Invictus Games have concluded, but the promotional images generated during this period will likely be gradually released over the coming months. It's worth noting that the Sussexes appear to have incurred minimal expenses during this 10-day photo shoot extravaganza, traveling first class and residing in a luxury hotel suite, with all expenses covered. In contrast, the competitors likely had to economize, often traveling in economy class and sharing rooms to reduce costs. A rough estimate suggests that the expenses for Meghan Harry and their entourage, including PR and security, would have exceeded £200,000.